change. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR to Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting all the chaos that comes with independence, the courier was the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured the fall of Mr. House and the end of the Legion's and NCR's influence over New Vegas. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utopica, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his youthfulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace within himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name as he had done so many times before. With little law left in the wasteland, the Grooms continued to defend themselves against the prospectors and scavengers invading their territory. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, the Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. The slaughter of the Van Grafts and the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that. After generations of being beaten down, the great cons were finally broken by the courier. Those few who avoided the courier's wrath moved north into the wilderness of Idaho, where they tried once more to rebuild. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. With the king dead and most of their gang slain by the courier, the remaining kings fled the area, never to be heard from again. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully melding his own memories with that of long travels with old lady Gibson. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Goth. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless power gamers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang plummeted the Mojave wasteland in heaps. 
citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proved to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. After the death of Chief Hanson, the power of NCR's brain has broken for years. Their organization, so reliant on the wisdom and guidance of its elder members, became a shadow of what it once was to people across the wake. And so the Terrier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. Thank <laughs> you.